Hey what's up guys, Benzo Figures here. And today I will be swapping out the Player 2 Ryu body from Paul's Mart with the original Ryu release. While the original release is an amazing figure, the body and skin tone itself is a little bit on the orangey side. So that being said, let's begin. <laughs> For this body swap, all we're going to be needing is a new Paul Mart exclusive Player 2 Ryu and the original Ryu release. And for the bandana, I will be using this vermilion red paint by Model Color. But first things first, let's go get this Paul Mart exclusive opened up. So I absolutely love this original Ryu release, but since then, Jada Toys has gotten better and better, and with this new Palmart exclusive release, it's pretty much the same exact figure, except that it has way more paint for shading, and the skin color is not really orangey at all. So we are going to be upgrading the original Ryu with the Player 2 by swapping out the body. First we're going to remove any loose pieces from both figures, just to give us an easier time when it comes to disassembling the figure. So let's go ahead and remove the hands, head, and gi. The gi surprisingly comes off pretty easily. The knot part pops right off and from there you can remove the belt along with the rest of the gi. Right here I'm checking to see if I can remove the torso and feet without heating up the figure, but that doesn't look like the case. Looks like I will have to heat it up before I can remove them. So I will do the same thing with the player 2 figure and remove the pieces. And in this frame, you can see the difference between the two bases. The new base is already matted, less glossy, has more shading and paint to it. And overall an upgrade to the original release. So this is the reason why I'm doing this mod, just to update the original release. I know a lot of people prefer using the heat gun to pop the figures, since it's a lot less to clean up. But I still prefer the boil and pop technique. From personal experience, it just works out better for me since the hot water goes all through the figure. I start with boiling the water at the lowest setting, so that way we don't cook the figure. And after it's ready, pour the hot water in a cup, and let's set both of these figures in there for about 2-3 to three minutes. After a few minutes, I could tell right away that it was flexible, and was able to pop off the torso right away with ease. So while it's hot, take the rest of the figure apart, and then do the same for the next figure. While disassembling the player 2 figure while it's hot, I quickly put the new body on the original legs right away along with the feet. It's just way easier to pop the pieces back in place while the plastic is hot. But if you're still struggling to put the pieces back in, just toss it back in the hot water for a few more minutes and then try again. With the torso swap done, now this is the moment I've been dreading, painting the bandana. I'm going to be using a piece of sticky tack and put it on the base of the head and place it on a paint bottle just to have a better grip while I'm painting. In hindsight, a gator clip probably would have worked better, but oh well. So I'm using vermilion red for the bandana and thinning it with a couple drops of water. Over here I made it a bit too thin, so I have a separate spot here with a little bit of red paint. Not much else to say here, I carefully painted around the hair and took my time, just going over it multiple times so that way the blue doesn't show through. What makes this less scary to paint is that Ryu's hair flap is flexible and I was able to bend it back so I could paint underneath it. So that was a huge relief after finding this out.
overall, this was not too too bad to paint, surprisingly. I did get some red paint on the back of his head, but still not too too shabby. 24 hours later, now that the paint is settled in, I can safely reassemble the rest of the figure. The gi slips right on, tuck the gi in the peg, and put the belt over it, and wrap it around, and boom. Put the hands back on, and then the head. And there you have it, the ultimate Ryu figure. So here's a before and after take of the figure. So final thoughts, I was a little nervous making this mod just because I've never taken apart and put a Jada Toys figure back together. So this was all very new to me. But as I was trusting the basic process of kit bashing, it all came together. And even though it's just a slight difference, in my opinion, the figure looks way better without the RNG skin. But guys, let me know what you think. Was it too much work for a minor adjustment, or was it worth it? Drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think.